June 24th was declared a day of mourning in Crimea for those who died as a result of the bloody attack on Sevastopol. A day ago, four American-made Atakums missiles were shot down over the city. The fifth missile with a cluster munition warhead deviated from its course and exploded over a crowded beach. As a result of the attack, more than 150 people were injured with various degrees of severity. Four people died, including children. Moscow stressed that the date of the attack was not chosen by chance. June 23rd was a great Orthodox holiday, the Day of the Holy Trinity. The Russian Defense Ministry called the attack a deliberate terrorist attack. Moscow pointed out that Washington is primarily responsible for the attack on the civilians of Sevastopol. It not only supplied Ukraine with the Atakums missiles, but also provides direct military support in their use. All flight missions for American missiles are set by American military specialists on the basis of American satellite intelligence. The designator of yesterday's missile strikes on Sevastopol was an American RQ-4B Global Hawk UAV that operated over the Black Sea for hours. In the evening of the same day, Russian air defense positions near the city of Yevpatoria in the west of the peninsula came under another missile attack. The Russian military has vowed not to let the attack on civilians go unpunished. On the morning of June 24th, the Russian military launched heavy missile strikes against Ukrainian military facilities in the southern Mykolaiv and Odessa regions. One of the targets of the attack was reportedly the launchers of the U.S.-made HIMARS MLRS deployed in the Mykolaiv region which were used for the attacks on Crimea. The residents of the city of Odessa also woke up to a series of loud explosions. The so-called Russian retaliation strike destroyed a large warehouse of NATO missiles and artillery ammunition in the port area of the city. Russian caliber missiles struck Western-made missiles stored at a warehouse at the local heavy crane factory. A dozen foreign mercenaries servicing the NATO missiles were also reportedly eliminated. Local residents confirmed the prolonged secondary detonations as a result of the explosion of ammunition stored at the factory, but Ukrainian propaganda continues to assure the public that another alleged civilian facility was hit. Massive Russian strikes throughout Ukraine are likely to continue. The day before, ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet attacked a Ukrainian base on the outskirts of Kiev with cruise missiles. Russian forces struck targets in the Zitomir, Ternopil, Kiev, Dnipropetrovsk, and Kharkiv regions. According to available information, the targets included the Vasilkov airfield, different military facilities, and energy infrastructure facilities.